Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm here with my wife. And I'm here with my husband. My wife! <laughs> that was too high pitched. And today we're doing a Q&A about our wedding. Finally! We know you guys have been waiting the longest time for us to sit down and answer a bunch of questions about our wedding day. And so that is finally what we're doing. And as you can see, we've coordinated our outfits to represent the wedding. You know, I'm in a black tuxedo and Kate's in a white uh -huh. wedding dress. We didn't really coordinate our outfits. We just realized that before we started filming, but um... Anyway, so in our last vlog, we asked you guys to post questions that you wanted us to answer about our wedding. Uh, but before that, if you guys haven't seen our wedding videos, you should. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, so obviously watch them so you know what our wedding day was like. Otherwise these questions will seem weird to you. <laughs> um, anyway, so we haven't really seen the questions and I'm just gonna start answering them. I mean, asking them to us. <laughs> I'm nervous because you know, like we haven't done this. We haven't done a Q&A in how long? A long time. Well, we haven't done a Q&A about our wedding ever. True. <laughs> All right, let's just get started. <laughs> how does it feel to be married? Love you guys. Love you too. Why? It feels great. It feels great, but it also feels the same. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, although there have been moments where you have to be like, oh, that's my wife. Um, wow, that's my wife. Yeah, it's feel like, <laughs> it takes some getting used to saying husband. Yeah. I'm like, this is my boy, no, feel no, husband. Friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it feels quite similar. Maybe because we've obviously been together for a long time before. Yeah, maybe. But also, there is an element of a feeling extremely grown up. Yeah. Like, it you know. It feels like... There's nothing more. We're married. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Next is we're dying. No, just... Hey. <laughs> Not for a long time, I hope. <laughs> No, yeah, so that's the final stage. She is my, what do they call it? Ball and chain? No, uh, <laughs> I don't like that. Well, You're my ball and chain. Yeah, I am a bally guy. No, I didn't mean... Okay, next question. Alright, what was your first dance song? Watched you guys from the beginning and I've loved seeing you progress in your relationship. Love all the way from Wales in the UK. Huh. First dance song. Do you remember it, Kate? Yeah. Stand By Me. Yes. <laughs> um, I kind of picked it. Well, I showed Kate. I was like, oh, I feel like this is what we should dance no, to. No, actually, I played it for one of our other playlists and you said that that should be Did the you? first dance song. Oh. Yeah, maybe. And because we had a live band, hmm. we it needed to be a song that they knew as well. Well, it's a song that we've liked a lot together from yeah. like the past, and I guess like. And we didn't want anything like too. There are a couple of wedding songs out there that are very cheesy. Yeah, we didn't want anything like that. Which it's... is which is nice and romantic if it's yeah. just the two of you, but in front of everyone, it can kind of be a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, we liked that it felt a bit more chill. It was cool. And plus, our first dance was for a total of like 15 seconds and then we forced everyone to come and dance with us because yeah. we felt very awkward to sort of... Yeah, and everyone's like watching you dance. Should we reenact our first dance no, right now? No, no. Why? No. Because I'm too good of a dancer. No, because you only get one too intimidated dance. when I, you know, start kicking around and... and step on my feet. <laughs> I didn't step on your feet. No, I actually didn't. didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't. You know, I go. practiced by myself for a bit the night before. <laughs> I did. I... Stop. Okay, no, we we practiced together, but oh, yeah, I know we that you practiced by yourself. Well, I sort of thought, damn, I don't know if I'm that great at dancing. Aww, <laughs> you were good. I, felt, I we think were, we were I good. think we were okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, my question is, will the pranks become harsher or more creative now that you're all married? Love y'all, congrats on finally getting married. Ah, uh, well, I think we know the answer to that. Uh, probably because of my silliness. Uh, Yes, the pranks have become, well, I guess harsher, um, but I mean... Yeah, just like a little let's bit. Let's put a stop to that. Really? Well, I'm you say that trying now. to say the right thing. Yeah, we know. <laughs> um, I, we don't really know. I mean, like, I guess it's what the other person has I mean, I don't mind. know yet for me personally. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Hi, Slayman and Kate. Longtime fan from Chicago. You are the first couple channel that I started watching in 2019. First question, do you have plans to move to a bigger house as you expand your family? <laughs> Second, will there be more vlogs and will your family be in them since, oh, since we did meet them all at the wedding. Okay, th that sort of family. Um, P.S. Who cried more at the wedding? It can't be Kate. <laughs> well, it was Kate. It was definitely Kate. Hey, uh, I don't know if it was. You, you cried when you were saying your vows to me. I cried when I first saw you when you walked I into the church. I teared up when I first saw you. Did you? I, I, I did. was I like had to bite my tongue because if I started crying, I would look like a sweaty. You cried when mess. I said my vows. 
I did, I also bit my tongue. I looked literally online about how to avoid crying because I know it's sweet to Haven't cry. Have you seen Friends? But it's also kind of like, I don't want to be looking back on the videos and pictures me being like this. Yeah, actually it makes me kind of cringe a bit when I watch the wedding video and like I'm saying my vows and I'm a bit crying. No, that was very sweet. Yeah, but sweet. it's like my voice sounds like bleh. Well, it usually sounds... No. Hey! <laughs> it sounds nice. It's true though. No, but Kate was very emotional. I mean, we all were. It was kind of like a mixture of being extremely happy. But you know what? Like, when I practiced my vows, I cried a lot more than I did on the wedding day. True, okay. So well, I think like I held it together pretty well, considering. You did. Um, but I think you're trying to avoid the question of moving to a bigger house, starting a bigger family. Well, yeah, I want a house <laughs> for my family of dogs. Family of dogs and potential junior slamans. Not for a while. <laughs> Not for a good Not for a little while. I think we want to um, venture, you know, traveling and, and yeah. enjoying the, the married life as us. Yeah. Uh, There's no before. rush. What's the rush? What have we ever rushed? No, it's tough. Okay. Um, and yes, we would like to uh, include a lot of our family in our videos. Unfortunately, a lot of them live not yeah. where we live. They obviously all came for our wedding, and so it was great to have them there. But, um, you know, the ones that live here, we obviously will try our best to put them in our videos. If you want to see that, let us know. If you want to see that, true. Yes, let us know. <laughs> what was your favorite thing about the wedding and honeymoon? P.S. Love you guys. Love you too. Uh, well, we didn't really talk about, or well, we haven't shown you guys what we've done on our honeymoon. And uh, let me play a reel for you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, so we went to a beachy place for our honeymoon, Hamilton Island, if you guys know of it, uh, which was a lot of fun. Kate pretty much read three novels, yeah. slept on the beach, ate a lot of food. No, I, you ate a lot of food. I ate a lot of food. I looked at her a lot because I was kind of <laughs> bored just while she was reading. Uh, we obviously got up to a lot of naughty things. No, no just... Stop. <laughs> stop. You weird ho. Uh, okay, favorite thing... We went to a bunch of other <laughs> islands. We went to a bunch of really nice restaurants. We went snorkeling. We watched Stranger Things. At the Great Barrier Reef. We watched Stranger <laughs> Things. We went to a lot of nice dinners. What yep. else did we do? Uh, I took Kate on oh, a four kilometer hike. Oh, we went to Whitehaven Beach. Oh yeah, he tricked me into a four kilometer hike. <laughs> I said hike. it was 700 meters. But the minute. view was really nice, so I'll forgive him. She didn't talk to me the whole over. way down. And it was like uphill. Like the hike was, yeah, up to a top of a mountain. Yeah. It was good fitness. I enjoyed getting home afterwards. Okay. All right, well, okay. Favorite thing about the wedding, favorite thing about the honeymoon. I can't pick one thing no, from you the have wedding. To. I actually can't. You have to. No, I loved the whole day. Okay. Well, I loved all of it. Like, I don't, I know it was raining and some people like don't like that it was raining, but to me that made it like so much more romantic. Okay. And so your favorite thing like, was I just like, I loved raining? everything. Okay. No, because I feel like people might expect you to say you didn't like the rain, but like, I liked all of it. Okay. I really did. I think my particular favorite thing was getting it done. Like the, 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 the formal getting married in the church aspect because I was so nervous. I like, I couldn't sleep. I woke up so early. I got to the church obviously before you and I was sweating bullets and I was just ready for it to and be. And it was cold. It was cold and I was obviously sweating a lot. Um, and I was just quite, you know, relieved. It felt like I had just, not to say this, but passed an exam. <laughs> Like, you know, I, I was kind of scared things were not going to go to plan or something was going to happen. And once it finally happened, I was like, I am officially married to this girl. Let the fun begin. You know what I mean? So you felt like marrying me was like a job you had no, to No, I done. just felt so nervous that once it had finalized, I felt quite euphoric, you know? Okay. I'm not saying actually, that right. Actually, one of my, maybe my favorite thing, like I loved everything, but... From the church, we drove to like the reception and to the, the winery venue by which, ourselves. Yeah, yeah and it, Slayman drove us in his car, yeah. and it was just the two of us for like half an hour, and we just like that chatted was a nice downtime. and debriefed, and yeah, it was like a good moment to just like stop and enjoy it because it is and awkward. Just be just the two of us. If you get like a driver and you want to be sort of personal in the back seat, and the driver's kind of like looking at you in the rearview mirror, not that we were being personal. You're really like digging a hole. Yeah, no, I'm just, I, it was very nice to have the two of us. And yeah. I did offer to drive Kate through McDonald's on the way, but she didn't want to spill anything on her desk. I mean, desk, dress. No, I just <laughs> wanted to get there. Well, you could have Because we were running a little bit late, remember? Like, we had to get there on time. Yeah, but we're the bride and groom. We I guess. Pets. And I think my favorite thing from the honeymoon is just saying to everyone, I'm on my honeymoon. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm on my honeymoon. And yeah, everyone being like this, what? Honeymoon? When did you get married? And you're wow. like, just chill out. I'm on my honeymoon. Wow, okay. <laughs> Huge congratulations on your wedding from Canada. I noticed you guys had a pretty small wedding party. What made you decide to keep your wedding party small? How did you both decide on three bridesmen and three <laughs> groomsmaids? I meant to say <laughs> three bridesmaids and three groomsmen. Three people on each side. I feel like that's, I feel like big. that's a standard number. That's big. Yeah. Part. And maybe in Canada they have much bigger wedding parties. No, I think I anyone know. anyone around the world just has whatever they want really. I feel like a lot of people in Australia don't even have them at all. I have seen some weddings where they literally have like seven or eight on each side, which have I think you? is a bit a lot. In Australia? I haven't. Yeah, I mean anywhere. No, I think like three is pretty standard. I don't know. I mean I chose my two brothers and my best friend. Yeah. Um, and Kate chose her three best friends. Yeah. I obviously would have liked to include more, and Kate probably would have as well. It goes, but then it it's gets like too out of hand. Like because then there's like a that many. There's like a big party of people up there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was nice to have just the three on each side. Obviously, like, you know, they're standing up there with you, but all your other close friends are with you the entire day as well. Like I yeah, had a lot exactly. of my friends and cousins here in the morning with me the entire time. But yeah. I mean, it's personal preference. It's what yeah. you decide on. And I mean, like, you can't really know until you're really planning the wedding what you feel like. Yeah. All right, this is a question for Kate. Was Kate suspecting there was going to be a prank on the wedding day? Yes. Really? But then deep down, I thought there's no way that he would do anything that would mess this up. I thought the prank might be something like not terrible, if that makes make sense. Can I admit? Like not just. Can I admit it. something? What? So I actually had a prank. What? <laughs> so I was gonna pull on you. Well, it doesn't matter now. Cause well, you did it. no, because you probably still get angry at me once the camera's turned off. Uh, and then I obviously chose not to do it because it was not going to be a nice prank. Well, it could have turned out to be a nice prank. So why would you want to do a non-nice? <laughs> no, it prank wasn't like a non-nice prank. It was just day. an extravagant prank. And I what had started mean? planning it. No, you didn't. And I just stopped myself before I got out of hand. And I am so grateful that I did that because it was such a perfect day that I think- You like ruined our wedding day. No, I, no, this was like a little bit of time ago. So it was our wedding. Yeah, but I mean like this is like way, way, this is like just when we got engaged. I sort of like started sketching ideas. Why? Like you just get engaged and you start thinking about the prank. But no, because it would have been such a future wife It would have been a memorable moment that I think you would have enjoyed a lot. I doubt that. <laughs> I highly, highly doubt that. Hey, 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 I got a question. Were you planning at all ever to prank me? Never. Really? Never in because a million years. The bride, I you know, as as I was sketching out my ideas, has way better prank opportunities. Don't rock up to the church. Leave a note. Uh, say the wrong groom name. Uh, right. Wear a non-white wedding dress. The groom <laughs> could do all of those things. What am I gonna do? I can't not rock up because then you would already know that. You could do a different bride walks in, and I'm like, that's not my bride. Like what? there's so many. <sighs> Why would I do that on our wedding day? Our wedding day is like above everything else. You don't mess with it. Really? You just let really? it be nice. Really? Kate, crazy prank in the past, Kate. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I know when to stop. Really? Yeah. Really? Do you? I know when do to you? stop. I'm going to reflect back some video. Yeah, because I know when to stop <laughs> no, on don't. our wedding day. No, you don't. I do. All right, because I feel bad, this is another question just for Kate. Kate, was this the wedding of your dreams? Congrats again, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Actually. I mean, I can't really say that I dreamed about my wedding as a kid. Like, I never did that. But once we started planning our wedding, like, you don't actually know what it's going to be like on the day. And I feel like the day was better than anything that I had expected. There's nothing you would have wanted to change, do different. Maybe one thing, what? but you know what that is. I'm not going to say that here. What, what? No, what is that? But no, I still enjoy what, it. What, what was that? <laughs> you know. I actually don't know. Yeah, you do. Because I know you feel the same. What? You know. 
Uh, he's just acting. I calm. literally don't know. You do. No, I don't. We literally talked about it in the limo on the way to the hotel. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed our very odd but hopefully thorough Q&A about our wedding today. Um, I'm quite confused right now, but that's okay. Um, and I will find out what this big prank was that you've no. been planning for my wedding day. Uh, but continuing on from today, I would really like us to sit down one day and react to our wedding video or videos uh, for behind the scenes vlog. I watch it every day. And, yeah, but obviously to give I you a reaction I pretty much watch it at least every Maybe four times really? a week. Yeah. Well, then we have to stop you from watching it for a period of time, and then no, we can sit down and I watch it on camera that. together. I just like sit there and I'm like, you know, it would be really fun to watch right now a wedding video, and then I watch it, and then I feel really good. Well, I'm glad you like the wedding video. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> okay. Well, see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed today. Peace out.